Hey everybody, Larry Lawn here. I got a good video for you today. I am going to be going over a Gordon Ramsay video when he tries to go to prison to open up a bakery, a business with prisoners. He's going to find that I'm sure a lot harder than you think. But before I get started, everybody, please check me on YouTube member programs. Check me out on Patreon. Check us out on all the stuff uh, from Discord. Right down to our merch. Gangster Redemption, going great. Our cigar, everything is hitting and working well. I like thought I'd go over this video because I think this is going to be a good video. You know, when I, when I look at prison videos, I always have a different take, and you know that. Because I look at them differently. I don't look at them like you would look at them. I look at them like uh, I could look at them because I see things in here that are different. First of all, the first thing that caught my eye when I first jumped at this is it's a real prison. There's a lot of different cultures, black, white, Spanish. A lot of times you won't see that. Usually they stick together and that's it. But you do see, depending on the level of prison. We are in England, so we are at a, a one of the maximum security prisons in England. And there is a bunch of different people here. So this is going to be good. I think we're going to have a good time uh, uh, reviewing this video. And let's get right to it. I've never been in a proper prison. You know what he said? He's never been in a proper prison. What that means is he's probably been in county jails. That's not a prison. Uh, anytime you're at a local jail or a jail, it's a police station. It's not a, it's not a prison. So he's right. He's never been to a proper prison. Bloating is increased by 22,000 in the last decade and cost almost two billion a year. It just seems a complete waste. We are doing this video out of a, a prison in Britain and uh, their prison population is about 88,000. American prison population about 2.2 million. Just to go to show you. Yes, it's a lot smaller country, but even if you take the states here, we blow it away. Hi, oh, it's Gordon Ramsay. It's taken nine months to persuade the Ministry of Justice to let me try and set up my pilot business in the notorious HMP Brixton. Setting up a business in a prison. This should be fun. And you know what I think of this already, right? You know I don't like using slave wages. I do not like using stuff to put other people out of business. Now, listen, I get teaching people how to, to have a trade. That That's important. But don't compete with people out on the street. You want to feed the people inside? That's one thing. So I want to see how they do this. I only want to the governor's put the word out about my idea, and a few of the prisoners are curious about my plan to cook on the inside and sell on the outside. Right, that's the ones for me and my downstairs. Right. Cook on the inside and sell on the outside. Kind of not liking it already, but I'm having this with an open mind. Brixton is a Victorian Category B prison with 800 inmates, locked up for anything from shoplifting to murder. Kind of weird how they ran their prison, and even from shoplifting to murder. How did they put them in the same prison, the Category B? Not getting that, but I'm, uh, I'm here just uh, trying to figure it out. <laughs> I think you would lose a few people along the way. That's how it goes, you know, only the strong survive. Looking at all of those uh, Bob wire and stuff I'm looking at right now, and how about the guys yelling? That is so common in prison. So common. And um, how many uh, prisoners are in here? Uh, I believe it's 228. Wow. Come on in. This, this prison does remind me of the old style prisons of Atlanta and some of the old prisons I was in. The, uh, some of the prisons I was in were pretty old. Uh, I mean, when I went through Lewisburg, or, of course, Atlanta, stuff like that. It's pretty wild. So, yeah, that's kind of weird in its own way. Uh, but it's kind of bringing me uh, memories. It's, it's weird because he's talking to the inmates, but they're feeding them right there. What was it? Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get going. I don't know. Obviously, this is what they got. They have no smoking signs over here. I guess they can still smoke in the prison somewhere. Can't do that in America. Taking off. All I can hear is my name. Okay, guys going off like this, this is exactly, this is exactly what happens. I mean, they go off, uh, uh, they, we used to call them door warriors though, you know, something like that. It's pretty wild and uh, we're gonna continue. Yeah. 
See the mirrors going down the tier? That right there is so common. Uh, we used to do that in uh, Lewisburg. is the first place I did that at. Uh, and then Atlanta. So uh, it's pretty wild. And you can see up and down the tier, and that's what it's used for. And it's not really mirrored. It's not a glass. Uh, there's no glass in prison. There's just not. Uh, it's a stainless steel or a piece of uh, acrylic. Anything. Anything. Could be anything. Tough job, Tony. The enormity of what I've taken on is starting to sink in. In 2010. Look at this pool table, guys. Never had a prison like this right here in the middle of this... I don't know if they, this is where they hang out or whatnot. This is kind of, um, I'm, I'm getting it, but I'm not getting it. But look at that. It's got a pool table right there. Not bad. You know, I, I was in a prison that they had a pool table. What is it? A pool table? No, no, they had no pool table. See, ping pong table. Uh, I never seen a pool table. Uh, not in a prison. Brixton Prison, where I'm trying to put the prisoners to work. They're going to cook on the inside to sell on the outside. It's time they. I just don't like that wording. Cook on the inside to sell on the outside. I'm never going to like that. Disciplined it is to get prisoners to do that on it very hard. The whole idea is getting up close. Look at Ramsey. He's a. Uh, seems like he's a little bit nervous. I mean, legit. But uh, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, and anything can happen in prison. Anything. So um, I think that's what's going through his mind. Dealt a dysfunctional card. My little brother became a heroin addict, and my father became an alcoholic. What do I do? You know, a lot of families have these kind of issues, heroin or drugs or something like that. It's a shame, because it goes on everywhere. Not, in America, not just in America, all over the world. What I've done, so, just cut and dive all my life. Just living cocaine 10 years of age, I could give. Um, that was that. I was in lockups in that lockups room. So I don't know about this guy. I don't know what he's doing either. Uh, two and a half year sentence. He's, this is. I, I want to see if there's any life sentence guys here. Sixty nine. No, six, sixty nine or yeah, sixty nine. No, seventy six convictions now. You know, what some people call crime, we call the way of life. Sentence eighteen months. Uh, not seeing this some uh, crazy prison. This lot can't tell their ass from their elbow. He's getting people can't cook. We understand that. Uh, I don't know how much I can cook either. I've been in several times before. I've been in several times, yeah. Right. I actually like, grew up in prison. You understand? I spent most of my, my teenage See, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out this uh, uh, Britain's prison system. Uh, this guy got three years for robbery. Either they're giving him less time or just doing more time. Uh, in America, they get fucking hammered. I'm liking that part of it, but it doesn't seem... I guess if they're non-violent, that's what happens. They're not necessarily used to, um, to coming to work and being told what to do and then taking it the right way. It is a very new thing for them, and they have to get used to it. Nobody's addressing them putting a business out on the street out of work. I don't know why, and maybe they don't have that issue here. But uh, in America, they would. Right now, I've got 22 incompetent prisoners, and that's just way too much for me to handle. I'm gonna scale it down, get a dynamic 12 for my bad boy brigade. I like the name, bad boy brigade. I'm on the line. I pinch assault, what does a pinch mean? Oh, They're all committing GVH against kegs round here. Guys, 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 guys. Well, you know, these guys are really don't cook, because at least when I was in prison, I cooked. And you're gonna see my cooking show come out. That's gonna be a big time deal. So we're working on that, and that's why I'm in here right now. Uh, we're gonna be doing this all over the country. I was like either on drugs or without drugs, you know. I was a bastard. I don't want to fail. I'm sick of failing. You know, I'm sick of. You know, I do. I am looking at these uh, thing. At least they have a lot less prison uh, uh, time. I got it. But you see that stainless steel? Uh, look at that stainless steel sink. Uh, it looks kind of like ours, but actually better than ours in, in America. Uh, we had one in the middle, and uh, I just think it's a different type of uh, thing they do. Well, I've had pubs before through my life. If I'd have been out to cook properly, maybe I'd have done different things in my life and not ended up back in jail. Look at these cupcakes, man. They don't... <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I know I lost weight and stuff, but I'm getting hungry, man. It's pretty cool. Let's check them out. My hustlers, Anthony Kelly and Tesfa Jones. Yeah. Yeah. 
Topek gibi bir hikaye içtim ya. Poş poş poş. Bir gol kısma da. Çarın o genç gibi tam ölür. I don't buy these guards wanting to buy their shit. I tell you that. Uh, I mean, they eat stuff in the kitchen, but uh, I don't know. The hunger. This is not sat on your ass. We're gonna hopefully generate, you know, a, a busy bloody kitchen. Look at those brick walls, man. It's the, that's that's the kind of stuff that I remember. Old kind of shit. I'm gonna put back inside to this prison. How's that make you feel? Great. Yeah, Good. Sounds well. Good. Can't wait to start grafting. You know, and again the kid. Grafting is what they call it in England. Grafting in America, we call it selling work. What's wrong? He hasn't got all these sources and stuff like that. I'm paying plenty of money to buy sources and stuff. We can't even buy food. We can't get things from, like, you know, monsters. This is normal. This is what happens. This is normal. Right, 250 guys, portions of a crew. normal chili. After that, we like got two vegetarian dishes. Yeah, one vegan, sure. one vegetarian. 50 portions, portions of vegan, vegan and, and 100 portions. portions. These guys are just uh, fuck ups, is what they are. A lot of them are just, you can't change. Some of the people can't change, period. Don't start shouting over each other. Roast potatoes, one wreck. I feel like you've done something, innit? Productive. See, if you was at work, that pain would equal money. Come on. What the guy is saying is when you accomplish something, anything, that's a big deal. Need to be calling G Wing for their tea in a minute. Oh, yeah. Chili con carne. I'm coming. Looks like slop to me. Coming. Task. I didn't think it was possible to pull it off, and I was slightly concerned that they were going to shy away from six, seven, oh, eight-hour day. But All right, everybody they found something serious, and it's uh, you'll see what it is. It's kitchen stealing. It's done all day long, every day. That's what I did. Well, I wasn't staying there, I just took some onions. Okay. I thought they were spare, so I took some onions. Okay. Who else took it? Some yeah. bollocks, come I on. I took onions. Okay. 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 Yeah, you yeah, took it? Yeah, I took some garlic. Thank you. When I was in the, the kitchen, the guards in the kitchen would give you food. They would give you food, the kitchen workers. They, they'd even sometimes walk you through the metal detector. So, uh, I don't know, this was a little bit weird. About anything. <laughs> Yeah? You know, a lot of this is, uh, I don't know, I have to believe it's staged. I do. Because the prisons I was in, they fucking stabbed you. I mean, they had to fucking argue like these fucking guys. Ah, it gets me a little upset a little bit. That's where I, that's where I've got my work cut out. Because there's so many feisty, insecure characters that it's almost built on a stack of cards. All right, uh, here he is talking about, you're right, he's totally right. This whole fucking people are all whacked out. That's it, they're whacked out. And it is what it is, so you have to accept that for what it is. Uh, but what are you gonna do? Uh, Gordon Ramsay, come to the mic cooking show. I'll see you, I'll show you what a convert can do as a kitchen. Probably not what you can do, I'm sure. But I'll tell you what, the taste of my food is good. Anybody will tell you that. Well, everybody, you just saw a, pri a prison cooking video in a different way. I don't think they addressed how they're going to sell this stuff, how they're going to get the trust, how they're going to ever make a business out of this. Uh, so I'm not understanding that. I, oh, it is a bunch of fucking kids fucking uh, arguing and, and uh, about little bullshit. And do I think it's a little bit set up? Yes. So I can't help that. But it is what it is. Uh, you know, you know, you're going to see the real deal prison cooking in the convict kitchen right here. So... Anyway, guys, you have a great day. I hope you like these uh, cooking videos because I'm doing more cooking stuff. Uh, you guys have a great day. Please stay safe, and I'll see you next time.